Well, I'm going to flick it open. Move, Katie. She can't. Just well, stand okay. over her. Go, it's going. Okay, guys. The long-awaited review. Uh, <laughs> hey, this was in my Christmas video. Nobody asked about it. I wonder why. This is a frost cutlery. Yes, frost cutlery. Blue tick knife. The ultimate beater knife. It's like one step up from the dollar knife at Walmart. <laughs> I used this on Christmas to process cardboard. Uh, and it held up. And uh, it's taking a pretty damn good edge right there. I took this... You can take the thumb stud. One thumb stud. That's the mark of a really cheap knife sometimes. Although some of the expensive ones do that. I don't know why. You can take this thumb stud off. One thumb stud. I took it off for the sharp maker because it kept hitting the stone as I went down. Um, there's a big problem with it. You know, uh, other than okay, the whole plastic, it's all riveted. The pocket clips riveted. This is just cheap plastic. It's not to see how it squishes. It's nothing special. There is blade play. You're right. That way, my, you're right on my leg. I, my hands. I don't on care. the tip. See that? It could slip. Yeah. On purpose. That's what she said. But there's blade play all over. See. So who's blade she? Blade play. You know, that's what everybody says. That's what she said. So so there you go. Blade play all over the place. But there's also one other problem. When you close the knife... Um, where is it? There. Right there. See that cut right there? Mm -hmm. In that first spacer? The... That's the blade cutting that right there. Those two pieces of plastic hold that spring in. And see the spring? It's just a bar of Honey, metal. This knife was like five bucks. What? It's. I looked it up on eBay. It's three bucks. It's three bucks plus shipping. That's why I call it the ultimate beater knife. Okay, so what do you really expect from these people? You're lucky the blade stays on. I know, and it's not rusting either. Check that out. I mean, you're lucky that... Check that shit out. This fucker hasn't fallen apart already. It's like flat ground or whatever. So are you it's really going to complain about ground. that cut? Well, yeah. I don't like that. You just Because I used to just let it snap shut. But now I don't. I, like, I baby it. I baby this $3 knife. I shut it like that real nice. Are you effing serious? Yep. When you're cutting cardboard, you can feel this whole part move up. I think if it was to fail, the whole this whole part would come out. So I don't think you would cut yourself. Going down, you know, I had it in cardboard and was probably in here. I'll try and I'll try and close it. God damn! See, it's pretty strong. That was my my full strength trying to close this damn thing. So, well, if you really want it to close, you should let me. My try. ultimate strength, my super pissed strength, will not close. Oh, I almost closed it like this and say, "Oh shit!" It is pretty. It's really sharp right now. So. It's strong enough for what it is. It's all plastic. If you squeeze it, you can feel the grip crush. Lanyard hole for lanyards. Uh, the lanyard would be worth more than the knife. Uh, I was about to say, that's <laughs> one expensive lanyard. The pocket clip wiggles. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that to death. It is a good size knife. Most cheap knives are really small. Here's the Endura compared to it. Damn, they're the same size. About the same size. like. Actually, the blue one's bigger. Look, it comes down. You might have seen this knife on uh, the Home Shopping Network. I know I have. It's called the Blue Tick. They also make a... You Red know, tick? Because it's blue. No, they make a black one. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> are you funny? They make a black-handled blue tick. Do you know what this knife makes me think of? Black-handled blue tick. It's like tick. the... The knife that rides the short bus to school. <laughs> it definitely is. So if I'm doing shit around the house. It's a retarded knife. <laughs> that's not a nice word. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about a knife. <laughs> it's the retarded knife. So like, okay, I'm doing chores around the house. I'll just throw this in my back pocket and whip it out and use it. And that's what she said. Whip it out. I also was, uh... That has got to be the gayest term I've ever heard. Lots of people say it. Well, it's stupid coming out of your mouth. 
Like, uh, like saying, that's stupid coming out of your mouth in bed. You know, you can add in bed to the end of everybody's sentence, kind of like that. Or like if you say something. I know what it say, means. I've heard it. I'm from the 90s, too. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've used this tip to pry shit with. Hasn't snapped off. <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned out my cell phone speaker with it. I went... Sh -sh -sh -sh. You know when you were little and you went to people's houses who had, like, kids with disabilities and stuff? Well, this knife reminds me of all the other knives. It's probably telling its kids, shh, don't make fun of it. He's the special knife. That's what that knife reminds me of. It's that special. It's that special. It is special. It is a very special knife. Yeah, I've been digging stuff up like this with it. I it's do a everything knife, not to a it. Spoon. No, I cleaned out the speaker. My speaker. I was like cleaning all the fuzz out. What speaker? On my cell phone. You had a knife in your cell phone speaker? Not, not jammed in there. Like going at it. Like right here. There's all this fuzz. I was kind of just digging it out with this. Well, the next time you see Keith, he's going to look like, you know, what's that boxer manager's name? Don King. Why? Don King. Yeah, because he's going to fucking electrocute himself. With a phone? They have a... Here, check out my head. I shaved it. Yeah, he looks dumb. Pretty huh? cool, huh? Okay, back to the table. Did you get our crap... Over there in the picture? Over there? No. Did you get that? Okay, good. <laughs> Your big ass head took up the big camera. Awesome. So, oh, and check this out. You can flick it open. <laughs> so, it's fun to play with, too. Oh, and the notch, my beef with the Endura. The notch is it's about as deep as the Endura. Look at how thin the, the lock bar is really thin. It's really thin. Well, it looks thick close up, but it's really thin. The... What else was there? Oh, the metal right here. See, it's not even finished. See all that? It's not even finished. Inside, there's just that cheesy... That cheesy little rod like a coat hanger. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. So, you know, maybe this would be a good learning knife or something. I looked it up. It was like three bucks on eBay. And then you would pay to ship it. Can you believe you've been talking for eight minutes about yeah, this? Yeah, eight whole minutes. Knife? been trying to make shorter videos, too. Because, uh, I know I if I look at it and it's over ten minutes, it better be about a goddamn knife, that's for sure. <laughs> then I'll watch it. Okay. Frost Colory Blue Tick. Watch for it. You know, Home Shopping Network. I don't know where... Do you remember where Stephanie got them? I don't know. I Did do. she go to a store? No, no. She, her aunt gave them to her ex, all those knives that you got. Yeah. And she never got a chance to give them to him before she kicked his ass out. So she gave them to you for Christmas. I don't know. I haven't seen these in stores, but I saw them at the Home Shopping Network in eBay. Oh, the spring. It works. It's not the worst spring, the worst pocket clip. It is pretty damn long, I think. And oh, is the blade centered? No. No. It's not putting a mark on it, though. It's not even close to centered. Hey, does it cut that right there? No. Oh, oh I just damaged my edge. I bet the plastic is so soft it doesn't even damage that. And you know though. what? He probably spends fucking two hours trying to sharpen this motherfucker. I spend a lot of time. The thing is, when I'm sharpening him, if I if I just wiggle a little bit, I think it just dulled the edge, so I keep going and keep going. And then I wiggle a little again, and then I gotta keep going and keep going until I do it perfect a couple thousand times. Okay, Monk. Alright, guys. That's the blue tick. Monk. Now in black here. handle. There's a black handled version. Monk and his uh, aide Trudy are out of here. Catch you later. I think that was a pretty good video. Dude, you just talked for eight minutes about the fucking stupidest knife. And you only talked for six about the fucking $60 Endura. Well, I'm putting it up on YouTube.
Dude, people are going to laugh us off YouTube. One person's going to watch it. They're going to dislike it. They're going to dislike it, too. <laughs> yeah, who is that motherfucker that goes around with one dislike? Who is that fucker? He puts one dislike on every video. Have you guys noticed that? There's some motherfucker going around putting one dislike yeah, we have one on a video. On all Everybody's of our videos. videos. I see it on other channels too. One motherfucker, one dislike, one dislike. Yeah, well, they're all pissed real at the world. Dislike this video, and then they're gonna <laughs> laugh us off YouTube. For real, yeah, this will be a genuine dislike. So we're gonna get a letter from YouTube telling us we're sorry. We can no longer allow you to post videos over two minutes long because you have bored the shit out of everybody with this blue tick video. Saying this, what is that, a bird? Are you seriously still showing them that yep, stupid Yeah, some knife? more footage. There it is in the hand. Bam. Okay. Impact weapon. Do you know why you get along with that knife so well? Why? Because you guys are both very, very special. I know. I love this knife. And you both need a helmet. I love this knife. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>